Okay, question number 14 says which of the following is incorrect in C++? Okay, so we have a concept of C++. Okay, we need to find out the incorrect statement out of these four statements. So first statement is we, uh, when we write all loaded function, we must code the function for each use. Okay, so what is function overloading? According to polymorphism, we can implement polymorphism in two ways. Okay, function overloading and function overriding. So, uh, sometimes we call them, sometimes function overloading is called as compile time polymorphism and function overriding is called as runtime polymorphism or we can say static polymorphism or dynamic polymorphism ok static polymorphism and dynamic polymorphism what is function overloading in function overloading what we do is we construct the same uh, functions with same name ok let's say I have a function add I can uh, write a definition of add function in many ways so I can implement add function in many ways but I will have to differentiate between these functions in terms of signature ok I will change the signature what is the signature of a function signature means return type function name and the arguments of the function ok so in this way functions with the same name will differ polymorphism is actually many forms many forms polymorphism ok poly means many morphism means forms so we have functions we have single function with many forms ok so the first one is saying when we write all loaded function we must code the function for each use ok so let's say I have a function with the name add so I have to uh, I have to write the definition of add function for every use ok if I want to use add function or let's say area function so I have to code for every uh, every class what does it mean let's say I want to find out the area of a square then I have to write the square function in according to uh, area of a square then I can find the rectangular area so I can use this function in different different classes so I, how can we use this so look at the <coughs> example here of polymorphism that is function overloading I have function with display name ok function name is display and I have different different forms of this same function written, uh, written type of these three function is same but the, they are differing in arguments ok this is taking int this is taking float int float why we are calling it uh, compile time uh, polymorphism why because when you call a function let's say you call function void display so compiler will be able to find out which function we are talking about ok so uh, compiler will check for the argument ok if argument let's say you are calling void int uh, there so this uh, compiler will call this function ok compiler will call this function so according to the uh, arguments compiler will differentiate between these function with same name and call them ok so we are coding each and every function display for different different purposes ok so uh, we have to code every function in different way ok so differentiate between them signature is your written type your arguments and function name ok so in this case in this polymorphism all loaded functions the written type and name is same so, so they should differ between arguments ok here we are taking int argument here we are taking float argument and here we are taking int and float both so when you call a function the compiler will be able to find out which function we are talking about ok so compiler will call function in these orders first, first this function will be called then this function then this function ok so first option one is ok we have to tell which one is correct incorrect ok so second is when we write function templates we code the function only once ok we are talking about function templates so we have a concept in C++ that is function called template ok or simply template so function template is actually same as macros you must have used macros in macros what we do is preprocessor look at the hash directories let's say if you have defined let's say you have defined 
hash define max ab this is the definition of this function okay so wherever preprocessor will find max wherever function uh, wherever pre, uh, preprocessor finds max it will replace max with the definition of the max okay let's say we have max this is the name of macro okay and then we have definition of macro that is let's say we have a definition like this this means if a greater than b then a then print a return a or else return b okay so this is max av this is your uh, macro definition wherever compiler wherever the processor will find max av it will replace max av with, with this definition so macros uh, compiler do not do anything in case of mac macros only pre processing done in case of uh, macros okay so compiler do nothing in case of macros so first first phase in compilation process is macros means pre processing okay after pre processing when we combine the code from macros and our original code then the original pure high level language code comes and that code is compiled by compiler okay but template in templates we have definition of template like this this is the syntax for template template in then struct factorial okay so we have a name factorial we are defining the factorial like this this is a definition of factorial template okay we are creating a template and this is the definition of uh, factorial so wherever compiler will find factorial it will replace the definition of factorial with this definition so difference between macros and template is that template is interpreted by uh, templates are encoded by compiler and macros are expanded by preprocessor okay uh, again remember macros are expanded by preprocessor templates are expanded by compilers so uh, this is very important differentiation because if compiler is expanding factorial this means that compiler will check for type checking okay compiler can check for type checking and can process but in case of macros you cannot do the type checking that's why in case of macros it is difficult to debug the macro Okay. you cannot debug the macro because the compiler is no compiler is not involved in this only preprocessor is processing this macro so and preprocessing does nothing about type checking or error checking it simply find the macro and change and replace it with the code of macro okay second advantage of template is you can recursively call the template okay like this you are writing the definition of factorial and you are calling the factorial itself in, inside the definition that is factorial and minus 1 okay so this is the differentiation between macros and templates both of these do same thing they replace the uh, code with its definition okay wherever you will find wherever compiler will find macros uh, factorial it will replace factorial with its definition that is this one okay in case of macros it will find the name of macro and it will replace the definition with name okay this will simply uh, preprocessor simply copy and paste the code okay so let's look at the options when we write function template we code the function only once this is true we write the template only once then we can use anywhere anytime okay so third one is it is difficult to debug macro macros okay this is true why this is true because compiler is not involved in macros only preprocessor is involved and preprocessor does not do the type checking or error checking or syntax checking okay it simply expand the code with its definition this is true templates are more efficient than macros this is true why because type checking is done in uh, templates and uh, you can recursively call template inside its definition so this is true all of them are true and we have to tell incorrect okay so what is the what is the problem in this question so this question we do not have any incorrect option in this so in net 2015 paper 2 this for this question 14 marks were given to all so this question was scrapped and marks to all so whenever a question is scrapped 
everyone gets the mark for that question okay